Welcome back everybody. We're going to talk strawberries today, specifically growing them on a wall. Maybe you live in the city, you don't have a space for a garden. Maybe you live in an apartment, you've got a balcony where you could utilize that wall there. It's a great way to save space in the city. And just like in previous videos, you see something in the video here, you can probably find the link down below in the comment area or in the description. Make sure you do leave a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. All right, let's get into growing our strawberries on the wall. As you can see here, the strawberry roots have very small roots and they actually branch out and they will multiply by shoots and it actually operates as a vine. So. Again, the small root system is going to be perfect for our strawberry wall. If you're from the States, I'm going to leave some links down below for you guys in the comment area. You can have bare root strawberry plants shipped to your door. Okay, once you've got your strawberries picked out, it's time to build our wall. You're going to want to go out and get one of these bags here. They come in different counts, different sizes. So depending on how many strawberries you actually want, that's how many bags you're going to want. So that link is also down in the description. If you're using the bags like I've listed down below, it's really simple. There's two ways to hang the bags and the easiest way is with zip ties. If you've got opening in your wall or lattice, it's easy to put zip ties around those and mount the bag that way. Or you can utilize a screw with a washer that works well too. I've simply used one part soil, one part peat. We want to make sure that these plants get watered every day. If you've got a busy schedule like I do, you can find these irrigation systems just about anywhere. You can find them online, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, if you're from the States, and they're fairly on the cheap. All right, that concludes today's video. If you guys do decide to go out and do this project, make sure you leave us a photo or a video. You can actually send it to firstclassgardens1 at gmail.com. That's down below in the description. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. You guys make it a great day.